No, I think we're going. Got to go with Supergroup uh, out of the the lot. I think it's got the most potential to to really re rate higher. Well, you were both talking it up <laughs> exponentially in mm. uh, the Supergroup focus. I saw that actually moving up while we were Did talking. Did you? There we yeah. go. Look at that. We've actually moved the market. So clearly, it's trading though at a, at a five-year high because it's recovering from this disastrous period that it had. Uh, such a good time to buy in more. But Lock, if you look at barrel. the results, and people can actually go and do this, don't just take I, it from I'm being us. Sarcastic, Read the, the various divisions. See mm. what's going on because it almost crossed the board. They seem to be saying that they've stabilized the businesses. They're picking up new customers, as Gary said, new fleet management relationships. Yes, they lost some in the past. The dealerships are doing well again, because remember, we've seen an uptick in vehicle sales. The banks are getting a bit expansive again in terms of credit for cars. So it's poised, cyclically anyway, to do well. And I hope that it could attract some attention and you know, lift off. How much attention do you think it can attract purely by going back into that mid-cap story we were talking about? I mean, uh, again, it's, it's going to have to de deliver the earnings, but like Paul says, I mean, look, looking through the, the, the results, it, it looks good. The only, the only place it's sort of looking a little bit iffy is its uh, expansion into Africa, struggling a little bit there, but uh, I mean, talking to guys on the ground, uh, that, that's a business that they're focusing on and they, they're getting it right. So hopefully if that, that then, then also comes to the party, I mean, it'll be a company that's firing on all cylinders.